So, um, okay, so uh, yeah, I will t talk about joint uh, result with uh, Michael uh, McBreen and then uh, uh, along with Julie uh, Yoon and also some aspects um, in progress, uh, work in progress to, uh, with Ben Gamage. Please. This was here somewhere. Um, so, um, yeah, let me spend a few minutes requiring the um, setup, the basics of um, duality for Hitchin vibration. Uh, and then, um, so related ideas of uh, geometric Langlands. Uh, and um, heuristics of homological mirror symmetry. And again, I, there will be nothing new here. It's uh, very sort of old ideas, and I will be very brief, but just I need to put them on board to, for motivation. So, um, so I have two dual groups, uh, G and G check, and so it will basically lose nothing if we think of this what being GLN. And um, then we have um, um, Hitchin space for G. So I think of this as a, as a cotangent uh, of one G, but thought of as a stack. You have a curve? Oh, yes, that's a good point. So I have a, yes, a complete curve. And so. And let's say we're over C, but uh, yeah. it's Higgs. Okay. Uh, usually it's, it's, called Higgs, it's called Higgs, usually, not Higgs. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Different English. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I can call H, maybe. Like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> For G equal maybe. Uh, I feel uses M, which is much more natural, neutral. Yes, I agree, but it's also other things <laughs> need to be denied. Okay, and uh, um, uh, and so then we have Hitchin space for G check, and they go to the Hitchin base. Uh, so for uh, of course for G equal to GLN, then. G parameterizes pairs E phi, where E is a vector bundle and phi is Higgs field. Um, so, um, <clears throat> and then uh, uh, well, the Benson Greenfield philosophy of geometric Langland says that we should be considering uh, coherent sheaves on. So here, so here it's here, so <laughs> HIJ, and then, uh, so the, the, just this space um, can be deformed. Uh, so being cotangent to Bungi, it's, it's deformed to uh, modular space of Durham local systems for G. So this is different coherent shapes along this of G, and then uh, T star of uh, bar G check is deformed to coherent sheaves on this T star, uh, deformed to G modules on uh, bar G check, and then geometric Langlands duality is trying to roughly <coughs> identify these uh, categories. So, uh, and then, um, uh, so at least heuristically, this is related to uh, Foucault category of uh, Hitchin space, which you check. And so, uh, yeah, this 
So, so in this framework, um, this should become an example of homological mirror symmetry. So you but because this, uh, okay, this homology, here are much more parameters for structures defined in this function. Second homology of band G? Or? Yes, uh, yeah. But it's not. Okay, this is only second homology. And when you consider the scalable, it's not very interesting, but plenty of parameters like the curve, more specific curves. There's nothing to do with Maybe less, it's interesting, but maybe. Yeah, 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 no, it's, yeah. yeah. thanks. But yeah, that's. Um, so, okay, so. Um, what I want to uh, uh, say about this, so, so, so two things. Yeah, I mean, I, I just should say that there are cases, say GLN, where much uh, <laughs> is known about this, uh, but this approach is not realized the, even, even then. So this is technically hard, so this is just heuristics. But so what I want to do with this are two things. So first of all, this is the so-called unramified Uh, geometric lenglens, and to make things uh, more interesting, I want to uh, consider the thing they ramified, uh, and um, this is uh, uh, will be a cheap uh, uh, be easy to do. I mean, easy to write down what we want to work with, namely instead of. Uh, we replace uh, bond G uh, we replace by something that we can denote by bond G X so X is a div D, let's say divisor so D uh, well it's kind of divisor not no multiplicity so multiplicity is not important so just a subset in C and then, so this parameterizes uh, uh, G bundles uh, plus a flag like B structure at each XI. And then when we consider, so T star bond GD, so this is, uh, will be set of E, and then phi will be going from E to E tensor K of D, so I uh, will allow poles, but such that uh, uh, a residue of phi uh, preserves the flag. Actually, strictly preserves the flag. Is if I have a flag, I mean it's E and then plus flags at X I, and then. Uh, a residue of phi, I mean, I'll write in words, so it's strictly uh, preserves. What is this? Well, EI goes e, e x i like D goes to e x i. Um, okay, and um, and for local systems, you, uh, you can write the same. Uh, so local systems is replaced by local systems like G kind of G, where no, uh, just the same thing for nominal. Nominal goes from E to K of D. So it has a simple uh, singularity, a regular singularity at this <coughs> point. And uh, plus the exact condition, which looks uh, exactly the same, uh, same condition in the residue. A residue of a Higgs field, and you can also have a residue of a connection. You same condition. Well, yeah. It implies. Uh, uh, right. Unipotent residue implies unipotent. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, and then uh, just a few words about the fibers uh, of this map. Uh, so maybe uh, 
it's best that the maybe the strategy is just to illustrate it for GLN. So recall uh, the structure of the fiber, well, small HG of fibers of HG, let's say G equal to GLM, then a point B in the Hitchin base <coughs> defines uh, the spectral curve which is uh, sits inside the total space uh, of the canonical bundle on C and uh, such that when you project it to C you get a degree N ramified cover and then if, um, so what uh, people usually say is that if uh, uh, CTLB is smooth, then uh, the pre-image of B is just the, the car of this curve. And then, I mean, there is for Yamukai, uh, for Picard Pic Subdul, there is for Yamukai, and this equivalence <laughs> should be thought of as deformation of this generically defined for Yamukai. But more generally, yeah, it's But more generally, if um, CTLB is reduced, uh, then uh, H inverse of B is the compactified Jacobian of CTLB. So, um, 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 you don't take it. Oh, I will pass to this in a second. So far, yes, and then yes. So, so what I want to the point I want to make here is that, you know, how does, so what's a point in the compactified Jacobian? It's, of course, generic in a line bundle, but then there is some, uh, something else happening at the singularity, and so it becomes, so it's some, um, there is some covering. Uh, sorry. Uh, so uh, uh, the, uh, the important thing is that if there is a singularity, and so if uh, we have some F in compactified Jacobian, uh, then, um, uh, well, F is given by a, a line bundle. So uh, let's do the following. So. Maybe so a, a, a f restricted to c tilt uh, e smooth is of course a line bundle, but I'm, if I'm given a line bundle uh, uh, on the smooth part, and then I want to know how to I want to extend it to a torsion free shift, then I should give some local data singularity, and then this data amount to a lattice, which is uh, invariant under the action of the function. And so um, the, um, uh, so uh, trivializing um, F uh, on the punctured formal neighborhood Uh, uh, of the um, uh, a pre image of the single uh, on oh, sorry, this is high, 
constant x for uh, x being the signature of a singular point. So we get, um, well, a lattice invariant under the local coordinates. And so we get uh, a point in the affine Grossmannian of G invariant under a certain uh, element, um, which I can call E, which um, whose characteristic polynomial uh, uh, records the equation uh, expanded in the formal neighborhood of X. So characteristic polynomial. E is the expansion of B at X. And um, so, um, yeah, uh, maybe uh, I shouldn't be spending more time on this. So let me just say that this uh, uh, elementary, so the, the, those elementary considerations, they lead to so-called uh, inverse product formula. So the uh, upshot is that there is a uh, way to describe this fibers uh, in terms of there's a twisted product of an uh, abelian algebraic group, essentially uh, you know, so, something looking like you know, abelian variety extended by uh, a fine abelian group, and uh, this sort of variety fixed point. So, so you, since you cover it nice as a whiteboard, yes. can you explain what you do with this point? So, so I can write uh, maybe the following. So that by inverse of P is the so it's uh, <coughs> can consider the open curve <coughs> which is uh, let's for simplicity assume that uh, there is only one point uh, there is only uh, one single point for CTL and X be the image of the single point uh, then um, I can consider uh, C uh, the open subgroup, which is uh, C tilde without phi inverse of x. And so I can consider the uh, completely supported Picard of C tilde less <coughs> than zero, which means, uh, which means line bundles with a trivialization of the formal uh, uh, neighborhood of the boundary and times this uh, fixed points on the affine Grossmannian uh, and divided by the centralizer of this E. So E is an element in G of T. Now what is X? Huh? What is X? X is a point. It's and E, oh, e is a spectrum. Of and C, C, C is a spectrum. Of so I assume that this is this is assumed to be smooth. Yeah, so 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 it's uh, defined by C tilde. Ah, okay. It's basically it's just the expansion. So so basically, we trivialize the canonical bundle uh, uh, near this point, then this is uh, this E is basically the vertical coordinate. Okay, so, um, and then there is a similar, uh, a similar, so, so, yeah, so, so in general, uh, I explain this as an elementary way for uh, GLN, but uh, it's going to be generalized, and there are some subtleties there, I think it's, but, yeah, there is a description of the fiber in terms of this local thing, so it's in Gauss uh, product formula. So, um, and I just want to say that, yeah, so, 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 you see, okay, so you see, maybe I should say this, so, in the, in the, uh, for G equal to GLN, I find this mania just parameterizes Uh, lattices in uh, uh, L to the N, where 
pounds. So, so this KFT to the M should be set up as a sections of E on the function neighborhood of X and on the, uh, and L is the sections of E on the actual neighborhood of X. Yeah, we yes, this is more complicated. Um, and so we similarly um, in the standard ramified version, um, we have a, a similar uh, have a similar story, have a similar story where um, the only difference is that you know we have this flag at the point. And so, when you say flag, you mean full flag? Huh? When you say flag, you mean full flag? Yes. Uh, story, but a fine Grossmanian is re replaced with so called a fine flag variety, where, so let me, uh, for, for, for GLM, this is parameterizes periodic flags of lattices. So, uh, it's uh, parameterizes things like L may be zero, contain L1, contain L1. Well, you can continue, but the idea is that L i plus n will be T inverse L i. So, so you basically get, you can think of it as L, so this is the same as where L i again lattices. And, uh, in other words, that you can think of it as this amounts to fixing L, uh, which is L0, and a flag uh, in the vector space L0 mod, well, T inverse L0 mod. Okay, so, and, and uh, so, so, so uh, and now, um, he I was working with this fixed points, and so again, if I have some um, element in the loop algebra, I can consider uh, the fixed points uh, for E, general Y used here, up index, and more used to the low index. So it's the set of things uh, as before. Um, uh, where we have just have the condition that E L I is contained in uh, L, uh, I minus one. Okay. So the idea is that uh, in this uh, story that I can wave my ha hands around, uh, one uh, is trying to study brains on. Um, Lagrangians and uh, the Hitchin space, but well, geometry of the Hitchin space uh, involves these things of local nature, and I want to look at brains here, and then maybe at some point in the future connect it to this story. But what I will explain now. Brains, you mean B brains? Yeah. Hmm? D. Homomorphic. No, no, no. Not well, it's not the B side. So, so it's a Lagrangians which will be in the uh, holomorphic in this. Uh, yeah, what's this? Like, so you won't you won't consider poisotropic. No. no. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. I, I, I will see. What's the reflecting structure? Um, is it the real part of the homomorphic Yeah, so the, the Lagrangians I'm talking, so, so Hitchin space, as you know, is like a cat. So the Lagrangians I am uh, talking about now, they are holomorphic uh, 
so they, they, they are uh, holomorphic, and in particular Lagrangian for the holomorphic symplectic structure. But you can also look at them from the perspective of that. Maybe it's helpful to say that the space is hyperkähler, but uh, <coughs> the computations you want to do are in the Pukaya category with the symplectic form where that Springer fiber is, a, is an exact Lagrangian. So in like the symplectic form, that's the Kähler form for local systems. So if that didn't help, then that would Right, right. So which means that you, you're a dead and you should know. Well, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so, um, but yeah, so this was still the individual part. And so, so let me, um, uh, I want to uh, s s state a conjecture, which will have a, have the uh, flavor of homological neurosymmetry, so there will be a uh, category of coherent sheaves. So let me now um, uh, proceed and define my category of coherent sheaves. So, uh, so we start with an important G. Then there is this uh, standard like finite dimensional geometry associated to it. Uh, so we can consider this G mod B E, or maybe I'll, I'll script B. And it contains uh, this uh, B E, so the flags fixed by E. Four. I mean, not as before, but simple as before, so just flags in the finite dimensional space. And this sits as a Lagrangian, uh, so this is a, a Lagrangian in a complex uh, symplectic variety. S E. So there is some standard way to construct it. Uh, you have to take the transversal slice and take the spring resolution. So maybe I'll just say that say if E is equal to zero, then uh, S E is the cotangent bundle to uh, to the flag variety. Okay, so now I'm almost ready to give a preliminary statement of the conjecture. What is it for the regular? For regular, well, for regular, S, uh, this is a point, and so S e is also a point. But uh, for subregulars of co dimension 2 orbit, S e is this resolution of a rational singularity. So, mental talk about this example a little later. So for now, uh, yes, I want to do the following. So we have a um, g of t goes to g. And so here we have t. And let's, uh, so I uh, <coughs> take an element here. So this is a generic lift, and things I will say will not depend much on the lift. And then I'll need one other auxiliary thing, namely I can take the centralizer of E. So if the lift is generic, then the centralizer of E in uh, G uh, in the uh, positive loop group is uh, abelian, and so uh, so I can huh? Of util things, yes. And so I consider the reduction. So 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 this is a subgroup in the uh, group of positive loops, and this maps to G sub subgroup. Sub yes. Uh, and I just and then let C E C E be the image. Okay, 
with some auxiliary definition. And now um, I use the fact that uh, uh, the Hitchin base was that I can identify the Hitchin base for the Golden Color Dual Group, and so that he killed Chuck in the dual group. be an element in uh, with uh, with matching characteristic polynomials. So we have characteristic polynomials for the group and invariant polynomials for the uh, the algebra and the dual algebra are identified. So this makes sense. And again, so uh, yeah, these are regular, semi-simple, but topologically important. So conjecture is that there exists an equivalence derived category of coherent sheaves on S E supported on B E and equivalent with respect to C E. So this is all nicely defined, but the uh, right hand side will be loosely defined. So derived category of micro local sheaves on the affine spring of fiber uh, each held chapter. Is this group C E reductive or what? Uh, it is a billion reductive. So C E is a billion C E is a billion reductive. Okay. Uh, C C E. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's image of maybe Z reductive, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but when can say equivalent homology, it's reductible, yes. Yes, it's the same situation. It's not homology, it's equivalent shifts, but yeah, equivalent shifts, yeah, but still. But still reductible. So um, and, and just one question. This generic element is this good kind of explicit choice of this generic element? There are some, but it's yeah, yeah, it's, yeah because yes. 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 it's not very really drip, you can really say what's Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yes, usually one. Yes. So um so maybe I'll uh, Yes, I will discuss. So, uh, yeah, so let me say that. Uh, so, so, yeah, so this is the statement. So, statement in What is the CE superscript on the left now? This? Yeah. So, CE is the image of the reductive part of the centralizer. And this is just equivariant shift. Oh, okay. But the bottom, that is the. So, this is just coherent shift on the. Algebraic right is supported on the close sub. Okay, thank you. So, um, yes, so, uh, and yeah, so a theorem kind of uh, uh, is that a version of the cost, exactly. A related statement. Uh, hold A for equal to zero. This is the ring. And then B in some other cases. <laughs> and if I uh, have enough time, I'll say in which ones exactly. So this is the uh, So uh, let me just say for entertainment that for G equal to GLN, we can treat the follow this method gives the following cases. Yeah, and this is B is in progress. So I mean, it's nothing is really <coughs> written, but thanks for my think that my brain is the control. But here there was a plan of proof, but there are things to work out. And uh, for G equal to G, then this method allows to treat the following. So either um, so D, you fix D dividing n, and E has you know uh, D equal Jordan blocks. Uh, Or d divides n minus one, and e has uh, d equal blocks of size n minus one over d uh, plus one by one block. But okay, so this is just uh, really into 
entertainment. But so, okay, so what I owe you now is discussion of this and then more precise formulation. Yeah. Yeah. And this is just B A B A B A B A is singular and S is smaller. Yes. Yeah. The single one. Yes. Yeah. And on the right hand side, it would be M S H. Yeah. <laughs> this is my problem. It's a three three cladium mu, and yeah. then later on the uh, uh, S and function. H. Yes. So uh, that's what I want to discuss. So um, and then give an actual statement. Uh, so, so what I uh, so so heuristics uh, heuristic uh, definition of microlocal shifts is something like this. So I embed uh, well on some z is I imagine that Z is in a sits inside some X. This is syntactic. And this is Lagrangian. The risk is complex. Erring is complex, yes. Uh, but yeah, so um, and um, maybe X is hypercalar and X is smooth and Z is single. Yes, yes. And I take uh, subcategory <coughs> In Foucault, category of X, uh, well, generated by Lagrangians, support. Z is singular but reducible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and reducible, so it's uh, things supported sort of on Z. So, generated subcategory. Is this kind of exact? Foucault category again. Yeah, so maybe that's at least for me. I mean, maybe Ben can comment on this, but for me, it's success and precision, but yeah. Roman, your variety is complex, simplex. Complex, simplex, complex. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and this corresponds to Hamiltonian reduction. But what I actually want to consider, and this is maybe, I don't know if it's in the literature anywhere. So I want to consider the following situation. So I have um, an algebraic group H acting on M, and I also have an <coughs> additive character psi to the additive group. an algebraic group. Then there is this notion of, yeah, so actually maybe I want to, uh... yeah, okay, let me finish uh, this line. Um, so, um, so I want to consider D modules on M. So there is this notion uh, of uh, twisted equivariance, so things which transform under this character with respect to the group action. And so it's natural to, so I don't know, the status of this, but it's natural to relate this to the category of T star M, where you take Hamiltonian reduction by H, but um, uh, well, in the Hamiltonian reduction, you take the zero of the moments. Standard first is you take zero of the moment map, and you take the quotient by the group. But here you can you can also take uh, some other moment value, and so I take the moment value deep side. And then uh, another thing to say is that um, support of the Lagrangian. Yeah, but there are cases when it's a good quotient. It is its sources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, basically, uh, I'm doing two, two, two. Actually, pass from heuristics to math. I do the following. Uh, so we suppose that. Uh, we have x, which is obtained by reduction of h of d psi, and it contains z. So this is a symplectic thing, and so this is a Lagrangian in there. Uh, then I, uh, in this situation, I uh, define this microlocal sheaves as a Ah, uh, sorry, it's a uh, uh, subcategory set of M in uh, D modules H, H psi covariant D modules on M such that the uh, Uh, such that um, the singular support of M is contained in the um, limit as t goes to zero of t times z tilde, where z tilde is the variety, is the Lagrangian. Z under the quotient map. So again, so um, I have I start with the Z, which is Lagrangian in the reduction. So if I take the image of the quotient map, I get Lagrangian uh, upstairs, but it's no longer uh, conical. But it's not in this setting. I mean, the usual setting would be conical, but it's not <coughs> conical. So I quantify it. Ah, so it's also the particular column Yeah, in particular. So uh, yeah, so this is the thing that we actually work with in uh, um, uh, in this uh, well, and then and then a sort of a further further kind of project is uh, uh, and so, so this is uh, Ben. 
uh, is relating this to the actual uh, category and application to another question which I may mention if I have time. Uh, category and applying to the standard uh, usual HMS for this variety S E. Yeah, but it was another category associated to single Colomorph Lagrangian if you produce plus one constant consider deformation quantizations and Kushler. That's also right, yes. That's uh, yeah. Oh. Yes. And yeah, we have this and that's, uh, this should this is maybe easier to relate to what I can I say for clarity it's not HMS for S E, it's HMS for the complement of the divisor in S E. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, yes, I yes, know, yes. Know, okay, okay. okay. I just, I just, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, um, so, um, yeah, so I actually am tempted to, uh, I mean, I don't have to watch it, but I want to give an example. And um, although this definition, so, so remark, uh, 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 so suppose um, if uh, Z has a, a smooth component right, sorry, so before that I need to say the following. So um, uh, now, like uh, the key point is that under this assumption for e equal to zero and some other cases, we actually can realize can realize uh, our thing as a Lagrangian. as a Lagrangian in our T star flag modular so H psi for some some H uh, so uh, the above scheme so the above definition applies uh, for example if equal to zero, this is the case, uh, if equal to zero, uh, then we uh, can take the subgroup um, when we take H uh, to be just G of, I mean, to be a subgroup in the group of polynomial loops in T inverse, just the kernel of the reduction, so one can say. One thing is maybe a little bit uh, loose notation is this, G T inverse G of T inverse. Meaning of this is that this is reduction. I L H kernel inverse to G, which is evaluation. My group with my class. <coughs> okay. okay. The Lie algebra of H is the And then and psi is just generic. And then in, in those other cases, one can uh, do a similar thing, replaces, replacing uh, this by some parahoric. And then, um, uh, so let me just say a couple of sentences about the proof. So, uh, 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 so proof for equal to zero, it basically reduces uh, to 
analyzing a simpler category, namely um, considering D modules on uh, a fine gross minion, which already was introduced, modular uh, H psi, which turns out to be a very easy category, it's just direct category of vector spaces. So, you know, so the way this works is that, you know, you have a group with a character and it's um, anything, it's a standard elementary consideration that if there is some uh, uh, locus where the, um, there's some point where the, because uh, the stabilizer is such that the character is non trivial on the stabilizer, then anything which transforms under such a character should vanish on such an orbit. And using such elementary considerations, you can use this. And from this and some sort of known base change, one can. Uh, this and some known results about uh, uh, <coughs> categories, constructible categories on the fine flag varieties and their coherent descriptions in terms of the dual group, one can deduce what we want. And similarly, so for the more general case, it's a similar method, but we'll need to, need to use, uh, uh, use uh, the earlier work of Yun on uh, epipelagic theory, epipelagic automorphic sh shapes theory. So epipelagic is a term from oceanography, I guess, which was introduced by Gross, Dick Gross and someone else. So this is something that's, uh, there's a surface layer and there's a the next layer. So, um, okay. Um, uh, So let me give uh, an example. Uh, so suppose that E is subregular. So if you uh, in, in, in SLM, uh, then um, as we as already uh, told, answering uh, Ron's question. So S E is the resolution. Of uh, the singularity of C2 mod uh, Z mod N. Mm, so it's, um, well, it has this you know, central fiber. So this is the, the way BE looks like. So it's a bunch of projective lines. And so, oh, BE of SE is generated by uh, S2 objects that are spherical objects. Uh, so you can take, um, so if, the, if these lines are like L1, L2, etc., so this is or LI, well, you can. I like this, so, so I will I like this normalization, uh, so I will explain why. So I shift and twist, twist them, and then I add OR of BE, which is just the union, the structure of the whole thing. So written this way, these uh, are spherical objects, which, um, uh, you know, if you want to compute X between them, then it's governed by the affine type A quiver. So the X, the bijection the vertices and X is one dimensional, they're connected and zero dimensional. So this is, well, the, this way it becomes like, a, there is an equivalence between derived category of coherent shapes and SE and derived category of modules over the projective algebra, so that these things correspond to things sitting at the vertex. 
So now uh, he, in this case, is C star. And so if I consider now equivariant sheaves, and so each of these objects is equivariant, but there are Z ways to equip it with an equivariant structure. Um, and uh, so this, the effort will be that it's kind of unwraps this will, and so we'll get a quiver. So, which you should imagine as you know, being a universal cover of this thing. And so, to each uh, point, you know, here they correspond infinitely many points here, which are just the, this thing, and then it's twisted by various characters. Mm -hmm. You start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It's called. Yeah. And then, um, uh, so this. Um, um, so, so the affine for E tilt here is is infinite chain of P ones, and then, um, in fact, uh, we expect that uh, all of this defi definition of this macroalkyl sheaves was complicated, but we expect that if there is a smooth component here. Then to it there corresponds an object sort of sitting on that component. Self X is the cohomology of this component, and the X between different objects of this nature is the cohomology of the intersection, and this matches. Okay, so there are several other things uh, ah, okay, three minutes. So uh, let me maybe Yeah, there are uh, maybe two things I want to say. So first is that um, uh, this coherent category has, so I was talking about the Dirac uh, equivalence, but in fact, uh, in the left-hand side, uh, in the constructive side, the Rabidian category, and there is this thing um, derived category of coherent sheaves on S, E, sub on B, E has an interesting T structure, which I spent a lot, many years sort of talking about, uh, which has many representation theoretical uh, uh, meanings. So it's uh, uh, controls uh, its realized as uh, modules, well, G-check uh, had modules uh, at critical level uh, as, in, well, in characteristic P as uh, modular uh, well, representations of G with the, um, and uh, also quantum group modules at root of unity. And, uh, you know, maybe the best way to think about it, so there is this formalism, so according to Frank and Geisgeri, there is a formalism. There are local geometric quantum conjectures uh, which say that uh, to each local system on the formal punctured disk there should be assigned an abelian category, and this is a piece uh, sort of a category, so a local language category. Um, assigned to a connection on the for punctured formal disk. And so this is a piece, uh, this is uh, a piece in the category corresponding to uh, just a trivial, well, uh, connection G plus E GT over T. So, uh, 
So that's why I care about this category, and now it has this new realization. Uh, but um, <coughs> maybe I'll finish with the following thing that um, together with Rina and Noah uh, and Edwin Merkovich, we um, constructed with. Uh, yeah, so maybe I should say this. So, so, so the derived category of this category carries an action of the fine braid group. And uh, with um, and, uh, and Merkovich, we constructed a family of stabilities uh, constructed, uh, sorry, some sub variety S in the stub st of this. S E B, where this um, action of BFI becomes the action of, by that, that transformations. So these central charges that we consider, they become something natural. I mean, they just become the degrees of the cycle on this FI Springer fiber. And so, so one of the motivations for Considering for, for doing this uh, was the hope to uh, to see uh, you know these are useful objects as being realized as sort of special Lagrangians somewhere and so this is still we're still not there so we still need to make this translation to um, actually for kind category to do that but yeah so this is uh, another sort of ingredient in this picture and. Uh, yeah, so I'm really out of time, I guess, but so I just want to say that uh, there is another aspect uh, of this is just mirror symmetry for SE or open subset in SE, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, related to this and somehow it's related to, but yeah, I don't have time to talk about this, so maybe I'll stop here. Questions? What's the, what's the history of the SE? The oh, that's the slot, it's kind of resolution of the slot slice. I know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's this, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, there is this, uh, I mean, it's really old, and I think it's a slot of a book and lecture notes from, I forget, I mean, 70s maybe. Uh, <coughs> Or 80s it describes this, this in thing? detail, but so the, so so it's just a T star uh, G mod B, uh, the Springer map it maps to you know, G or M whatever you know, like uh, G, and so the, uh, and then if you take like I don't know S bar E or whatever like sigma E if you want sigma E to be the transversal slice to Uh, the orbit of E, then I just can take this S E to be the fiber product of sigma E. Just pre image. I like this spike. Yeah. yeah. This is better. By inverse of here. No, that's right. Yeah, just by inverse of here. Any other questions? Alright, let's take a look again.